The Beer, Wine & Shine Trail is a self-guided driving tour in Johnston County, North Carolina, convenient to I-95, I-40, and the Raleigh area. The trail includes five destinations for craft beverage lovers, two family-owned wineries, two craft breweries, and a moonshine distillery. We have a rich family history in uh, bootlegging here on the farm and in this part of the county. They pretty much made whiskey, I know for a fact, from the early 1800s to the 1950s out here on the farm. You know, we grow everything dirt to bottle here. We run the corn through a malting process, ferment it, distill it, bottle it, and everything right here on the farm. A little over a year ago, we incorporated tours and tastings and opened up to the public. It's not unusual to have people drive a couple to three hours just to come down here to visit for, for afternoon. Our brand, Broad Slab, is a true craft brand. When you come out here, you can, you can see it, you can smell it, you can taste it. It all started when Cheryl got me a homebrew kit for my 40th birthday. That was a little over nine years ago. and. Uh, Basically, it took over our life. We'd like to become a regional craft brewery. We want to you know, own our local area and own this state first. I'm always trying to figure out something cool and crazy to do to a beer to make it a little bit more challenging. This last summer beer, we did uh, Peaches and Cream Filter Dreams. And to bring in the creamy texture and stuff, we actually used local grits from Atkinson's Mill and brought those in and actually had to cook those and then cool it down and then bring the grain in and do this, that, and the other. And so it, it was a little bit more challenging. So things like that really are kind of what I thrive on. And doing something a little off the wall, something a little bit skewed. But we do a lot of different seasonals. We're also cranking out a lot of different things here and there throughout the year. We get really good feedback on the beer. Back in 2009, we put the vineyard in not thinking about a winery, we're just going to use it as a backdrop for weddings. After we realized that grapes, uh, grapevines do produce grapes and grapes produce juice that produces wine, we decided to open Gregory Vineyards or Gregory Wineries in 2011. I do see Gregory Vineyards as, as a tradition carried on. I do have two kids. I have a, a son, Adam, and a daughter, Elizabeth. Most of our wines are named after family members. I think all of them are good. We do two different tastings here. We do a what we call a unfortified tasting, and that's where we are tasting wines at 16 and down percent alcohol. And then we do a fortified tasting. Fortified means that it's a wine that is made with wine and brandy. It's 16 to 24 percent. So we're gonna kick it up a notch on the fortified. Uh, we guarantee that if you drink it, you'll be happy if you drink enough of it. We really didn't like the nine to five. Uh, we knew someday we'd work for ourselves. Brewing beer has always been a passion to us. We've uh, home brewed for many years before we started the business and we decided to go a different direction. We do a lot of different beers. Uh, we take a broad brush approach to beer, so we have a beer for everyone, um, in my opinion. We're very community based, community oriented. We don't have any um, TVs in our tap room. We want to make sure people come in they talk to their neighbors that they may not even have ever met before other than at our taproom and have a good time. We started out with this field right here, which is 16 acres. That's the first field we planted. You know, now we're at 100. We're pretty diversified in that we not only make wine, but we also grow fresh fruit for grocery stores. Really love all aspects of it. You know, wine making, growing the grapes. I love the fresh fruit part of it too. The sweet red wines and the sweet white wines are what really sells. We offer four wines for free for tasting. And if you do five or more, we have up to 18 wines, it's $5. And uh, you get to keep the glass. To find out more about how you can journey along the trail, visit BeerWineShineTrail.com.